more time. Move one more time, all right? No, man, everything's cool, boss. I'm gonna ask you one time and one time only. Is there a weapon on this boat? And that's what he has said to us. He was like, I'm turning this shit off. I want to, I'm a white boy, I don't listen to this. And he put something else on. We played Margaritaville by Jimmy Butler. Yeah. They, they got all ghetto on me. Don't ruin my whole life over a couple fucking black chicks from Texas. Hey. Yeah, the second task is the memory. Okay, the wait, second task. I'm not doing this anymore. Stand up. At that point, he started to make racial slurs. He called us N words. Let's just say what it is. He, he said, I have a 9 millimeter. Swim. What are you going to do? Yes. You're going to call your boys? Yeah. I have a 9 millimeter. I'll and use it said, on you. He said, I'm a captain. I can make them swim if I want to. September 2nd, 2023, Officer Hop and Roar were at the Tampa office when dispatch called them and advised that there were several women trapped on a boat with a belligerent sea captain refusing to take them home. The caller also stated that the man operating the boat, later known as Captain Steve, had struck one of the women and made threatening remarks about unaliving everybody on board. And editing that video down to 16 minutes was a bit of a challenge. So if you appreciate what I do, hit that sub button, like this video, and I don't know, get weird in my comment section. Put your hands on the Put your hands on the chair! Now! Give us radio, we got 1050 on them. No, stop! Keep your hands on them. Right Move one more time. Move one more time, all right? No, man, everything's cool, boss. Come on, man. What is the problem here? Stop, turn around. Face that way, now. Do it now. Yeah, what's the problem? Wait, Natalie, let's go. What is the problem? Hey, man. Stop. Natalie, get them shoes, let's go. Hey, Natalie, tell them I just there. Come on, you guys. Come on, boss. Come on. Man. We're good. We're good. Out of bumpers, okay? I'm not. Stop. Okay? Stop. Go now. Go. Go. We're holding the boat. What is the problem there? Dude. Dude, are you kidding me? We have a couple calls on you. Let's get this figured out. Let's get it figured out. I'm going to have you sit down right there. Yeah, you got it, boss. You got it, man. Sit hey, down right here. You're doing your job. I'm a, I have a six pack license. Okay, okay, sit down. Come on. You think I'm harming anybody? Come on, dude. Okay, the black girls are coming. Eee, we're scared. Natalie, I'm a farmer. Tell them what's going hey, on. Hey, stop talking, all right? Here's your phone. Hey, hold on. Hey, guys, guys, guys. Let's everybody get on our boat. We'll figure out the phone situation when we get back to the boat ramp. What? Okay. It's not Captain, all right? It's Officer Hoppy. Okay. Officer Hoppy, I've been a, I, I've been, a, I'm from, born and raised in Hawaii. I've been a fucking charter captain for 48 years now. Okay. All I did was give them a ride for Whiskey Joe's, and they're going, we're scared, we're scared. You, you're, you're going to make us swim and all this. Captain, I'm going to ask you one time and one time only, is there a weapon on this boat? Hell no. If I go through this boat, am I going to find a weapon? We're getting you onto this boat, okay? All right. Can you just tell me? I will when we get this figured out. You're not going to tell me how to do my job. Do you understand? Good. Sit down, I'm shut up, and listen. I have a respect for you. Here's what you're going to do. Listen. You're going to turn around, put your rear end on this, and then bring your feet across. Do you understand? I'm 61, man. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm cooperating with you, okay? Okay. I'm put your rear... Back Stop talking. Put your rear end right here. All right, do it now. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yes. Hey, stop talking. You are not going to talk to them. You hear me? Hey, just take take him. I'd like to stay with my brother. That's not going to happen. You're not going to call the shots. Do you hear me? You're not calling shots. You're going with them. Sit down. I just thought I'm getting on Hey, signal one. Why don't one of you drive my back? You put him with me. Okay, boss, I'm totally cooperative, but I don't... Bro, nobody's talking to you right now, okay? What's your name? Steve. Steve. Captain, Captain Steve, I have, I have, I have a six-pack license. Captain Steve, come on. 40 years. Come on over, Captain Steve. All right, what I'm gonna have you do is sit your butt right here. Oh, All right, and we're gonna we're gonna swing your feet over. Yeah. You're good. You're gonna sit right here next to me. Hey, Natalie and, and Farmer Girl, tell the truth. I did not hurt anybody. Okay? Here, stop or, talking to him. All right. Or had any intentions. Face that way. Face Two the back of the boat. Girls. Two white girls. How much you had to drink tonight? Me? Yeah. Three beers. Three beers. Why are you ever so tight? Come because on. Because you're not being cooperative right now, Steve. All right, well then be cooperative with me, man. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Yeah, she keeps flipping me off. You think it's funny? Captain, Steve, be a man. I'm going to give you one opportunity. Yeah. If you stand up, I'm going to put you on the floor. You understand me? Dude, Look at me. I'm not playing it. with you. You're the captain. Thank you. Natalie, captain Steve, we're not talking to him.
know when I can get out. Yeah, give us one second. Let me get tied up real quick. Later on, Captain Steve is escorted to another officer's truck, where he's detained while the women are questioned, and Captain Steve sat very quietly and chose to invoke his right to remain silent. I'm just playing. You never stop talking. Hey, I can't see you. I'm right here. Are you a white boy? What's that? You're a white boy, right? Yeah. Okay, hey. And you know what? It's me and me and you. When they started saying that, I said, you've been your f***ing You know what I mean? And I'm sorry. I'm not racist. I got four very good black guys. You know, I'm a good old boy. Born and raised in Hawaii. I go in a car dealership in Hawaii, okay. Arizona, and Florida. Dude, I'm no piece of shit, okay? Don't ruin my whole life over a couple f***ing black chicks from Texas. They're stewardesses. I have three black guys that work down at my dealership. And I said, I'm not racist. But you start, there's white and I said, I did N-word. I said, you know, you bitches, you know? So where you, you guys just met that guy right now? Yeah. Literally. Literally. He, he had a boat, and he was basically telling us that he was going to take us. This is what he normally does. We pay him a certain fee that he would be down to take us. Yeah, we Well, that bar said And the bar said he was a regular, there. and he did No, he said he owned the bar. No. Oh, <laughs> that said that he's yeah, I didn't believe that shit. So did you guys pay him? Uh, okay. Here, let's go up to the cars. We'll talk. We'll talk to y'all. What happened? I guess just walk us through your day. So, um, so we went on our trips. We decided to leave the hotel and go to Whiskey Joe's because that's where everyone told us we should go. Okay. So we went together as a group to go and have cocktails in E. But we literally just got there, sat around, talked, and a guy came up, started talking to one of our Okay, we talked to him, and then he say. came to our table. Yes, yes. he and said we were all beautiful. He shook my hand, and, and we all kissed my hand. We got on his boat. Oh, and so he, then no, no, was, then I showed up late, so I showed up last. She did, but he was fine. And then in the middle of the ride, he got belligerent. What what all happened tonight, Captain Steve? You know, I worked with my brother, law enforcement for years. So we, we appreciate that. I was a CID. Okay. For for him, you know, he was CID detective, and I was a, a, a confidential informant. And yeah. Off the streets of Hawaii. So, hey, so hey let, let's talk about right now. Okay. You were at, um, what's Whiskey that restaurant? Joe's. You were at Whiskey Joe's. All right, so what, at what point did you meet the girls that were on your boat? Um, I pulled up there, and they said, nice boat. I was only right there. You know, and I just went, you know, I had a long week, and, you know, I had lost like 100 grand this month, you know, because of, I can carry the whole paper at my dealership here. I have a dealership in Hawaii. Arizona in here, okay? The little the little one, Natalie, she came up and she goes, uh, a little short one. You know, I'm not a big guy, like petite little girl. Mm -hmm. You know, we were more men. I could talk to you about this. And I go, she goes, let me throw, you know, I threw my anchor up in there. She goes, let me help you. Oh, I would love to go out for a ride on that thing. And uh, I said, okay. But she goes, I'm here. I'm a stewardess. Can I bring my friends? And uh, I said, well, you know, I mean, you know, I have three black employees. I'm not racist. Okay, mm -hmm. let's get that straight. Okay. But anyway, I said, you know, black girls aren't really... They're not very... They're not really... Boat girls. Boat girls, okay. Yeah. So so did he tell you guys, like, like, how did you guys get on the boat? Was he like, hey, it'd be 300 home. bucks? No, or? he said, no, he he said we're going to take us a ride. He just said in exchange he wanted some shots. That's what he said he okay. wanted. Okay. But he was already drunk. We told him we was going to go yeah, on the boat after die. we got him a like, shot. He said, that's cool. We told him we would get the shots when we come back. We got it was, oh, uh, it was Sydney. Was it was 11 o'clock. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, We took him, took him out, and we went out. Natalie was driving. I was teaching her because I like her. I went from Texas. And so she's driving my boat. And I think she was driving when, they, when, they, when we were coming back. And all of a sudden, you know, they, they were saying, okay, well, uh, we're getting scared. Mm -hmm. I said, well... Why did you ask me to take you for a ride? Uh huh. I guess they were drinking too much, whatever. And they're out there, oh, you know, da 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 da. -da. And I said, well, we're going back. And even the little old Emily even was driving for a while. I think when we, when they pulled up on us, she was driving. They were the one that's me. And I said, oh, you're going to kill us and all this. Da 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 da. My boys are going to be waiting with the nines on the beach and all this. And I said, well, you know what? Fine. And if they're going to be waiting for me at the beach, we're going to we're on our head and back. This kidnapping. Those four girls, this black chick, will kick my ass. Nothing. Did you see them? Come on, dude. So let me tell you what upset him. He told us as soon as we got on the bus, I don't want to hear any rap music. I'm a white boy. I don't listen to black people music. So we were like, okay. So then she ended up playing some R&B music. No rap music. She played some R&B music. She 
play some Beyonce and some other stuff, he started getting irritated. And that's when he has said to that's us, he, he was like, I'm turning this shit off. I want to, I'm a white boy, I don't listen to this. And he put something else on. We play Margaritaville well, by he, Jimmy Butler. Yeah. But then that's, that's what the when he started, did. like. <laughs> he eventually told him you're going in the wrong direction. He felt like he knew where he was going, and he didn't. He got upset at that point and he told us, y'all go back to the hood, y'all don't belong in the he hard he hard So us. that's when we decided to call the police. Once we realized he doesn't know where he's going, we're going in circles. At that point, he started to make racial slurs. He called us N-words. Let's just say what it is. I was he kept on the phone. saying that. That's when I was on the phone with the police. And, yeah. then and, he, said that he, and he said, I have a 9 millimeter. Swim. What are you going to do? Yes. You're going to call your boys? Yeah. I have a 9 millimeter. I'll and use it on And he said, I'm a captain. I can make them swim if I want to. I can And he said, I'm the law. I'm the law. I can push them out here. Should I push them out here? And I said, no, you should not. he walks up to me. He puts his hand on my leg. And he's like, I will put you off my boat. Like, you're on the phone with the police. And I lied because obviously I don't want to get kicked off the boat. Yeah. At that point, I was and the I last said, person no, on the phone. They are not. I said they are not on the phone. And I was, I was. So you guys I, asked them to take you back. How many times? Like several, at least, several, at least seven, seven, eight times. times. Okay. Yeah. So, so they, they got all ghetto on me. Okay. And, and by said, all ghetto, what do you mean? You know, all yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna want them such she had a 380. And all this in her purse. Yeah, they start threatening me, saying the boys are going to be there at the beach and whiskeys and, and you, know, you, you know, they're coming around. Let me drive the boat and all this. Get the one big one with the, the big titties. And I said, so what? How come you didn't want to take away. him back? How come you didn't want to take him back to the? the... Of course I was. I was oh, you you on your way back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the okay. Little, the little one, Natalie was driving the boat. Oh, okay. Okay. So she's driving her. the boat. I liked her. All right. Okay. I feel what you're saying. Fuck okay. Yeah. So, she's a hottie and the little one in the farmer johns uh-huh and she was they were like so they're telling you they're telling you let's the take us back ones, black one the big one with the big tits she goes step aside captain i'm the new captain and i said what i said step away i told him i am the law at the sea and i said if you come any further i will make you swim oh, what, what did you mean I, by that would you uh, would you have thrown him over no no okay come on. all right uh, captain c did you feel like your life was was threatened by them at all the big black one, yeah. Okay. So he touched you on your leg. Did he hit anybody? He pushed, no. No. He pushed and us. He got up in my face and was like this. He did okay. he got you on the phone. He pushed Natalie. Natalie. Who did he push? Natalie. Natalie, you need to tell you. Where did he push you? Like front or back? I mean. He pushed her. I, uh, I Realistically, was up girl, there. if someone pushes you like that, that's a push. Like, yeah. don't, be, don't be civil about it. He pushed her. her. He pushed her when. Exactly say the truth. He, 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 he did though. push you. When? He was watching. When y'all were arguing back there about us, because you were trying to take because up Because he was trying to throw everybody I off the bus. And he said, he said only the white girls can stay on the boat. And he said, he did say, I'm going to make everyone walk the plank. And he said, he said, I'll crash this boat if I have to. Yeah, and then he drove us to and our barge, and I was begging for 911 and to I like, said, figure no, this out. Were you guys like, in fear? Yes. Oh, okay. I got to just ask, right? You know yeah, what I mean? It was not a so let me tell you, he he was almost, this close. we were this close to, to not only hitting a boat, but then whatever those docks are where the concrete is. They're, 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 they're making a new bridge. Those pillars. He, yes. He literally we almost right ran us through that. We had to scream and say, stop, stop, stop. I was begging the entire time. We kept saying, please take us home. Please take us home. We never even went under the bridge. Did you guys try to like get the wheel away from him or anything like that? We tried literally everything. And he pushed. They're saying that you were trying to swerve into some of the poles and into the bridge and into the barge. Why would they, why would they make that up, man? Are you kidding? Were you doing it as like a joke, like trying to be? No, they're you know? lying. So, Captain Steve, how did we get? How did? Why why, why would they make that up? Were you just, like swerving around? Do you think I would crash my boat? I don't know you. I just met you. Yeah, he made it clear. All the black okay. girls off he had ill intent from the beginning. He, he knew said, he had malicious intent from the beginning. He should have never even spoke to us, came up to us, talked to us, because that type of behavior was not intended. We didn't give him that type of energy well, when we met him or anything. He okay. kept saying, I'm not racist, I'm not racist, but That blah, was him blah, telling blah, blah, you right there. Exactly. And racist. And that's what I said. You should have told us that shit, because then we wouldn't have got our ass for that goddamn boat. I told us to not get on so the boat. And he said, if there's a 9 millimeter, I'm not afraid to use it. I told him Um, where are you guys from? We're flight attendants. We're all flight attendants. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're all over. Where did they get the part about, you said that you had a 9 millimeter that you would use? <laughs> I've never owned a 9 millimeter. No. Uh, How much did you have to drink tonight? I'll be honest with you. The whole night? Yeah. All night. Probably three beers. Three beers. Or we're asking you that you do field sobriety. Okay, are, are you willing to perform being, those tasks? I'm being totally honest with you guys and everything. Yeah, so... And so, I don't want to get a BUI Hey, whatever. Captain Steve, are you willing to well, do it? Well, I mean, what other option do I have? Well, you, you can say no. I can't make you do it, but if and you say what's no... The, what's the option? If you say no, I'm, we're going to have to make a decision based on what we're seeing. 
the odor of alcohol, your eyes are bloodshot and watery. Oh, okay. Do you want to perform field sobriety exercises? You, okay, so here, hey, you're, you're going to have a seat right, right here on the right, cooler. Right. I mean, I'm trusting you guys. You yeah, know. you're good. Have a seat right there for me, Captain. Talk to me, right? Well, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that Captain Steve just made another bad choice. He agreed to do seated field sobriety tasks, and they're primarily used to test vessel operators for impairment in a seated position. And if an officer asks you to perform one, Never do it. I've watched these things hundreds of times, and I still get confused. And I'm sober, but I am also learning disabled. I personally think that they're boring to watch, so I edit them down quite a bit, but I'll leave some in for you guys. The first task is to count out loud from one to four while you move your fists in a step-like fashion, making contact between your fists at each step. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, hold on. I don't want to screw this the up. The second task is to memorize. Uh, hey. Yeah, the second task okay. is to memorize. Okay, the like second task. I'm not doing this anymore. Stand up. Oh. Around. Right? Placing you under arrest for voting under the influence. Why? What did I do wrong? You're under arrest for a few things tonight, sir. Like what? We'll talk about them. There's some issues with the girls. You didn't. You didn't make good decisions tonight, Captain. So it's going to be DUI, false imprisonment, That's assault. That's the main thing right now. That's the main thing right Just now. Just those three? So oh, far. There's it might nothing be, else. There's nothing else yet. Yeah. Do you have an ID? Do you have a driver's license? Sure. What state is it in? It's Perth, Australia. I'm a boat captain. <laughs> captain Steve, what state do you live in? Here, for right now. Florida? But the majority of the time, my dad but has, where's a, your ID out of? has a 54-footer in, in Perth, captain, Australia. What, what state is your ID out of? I have one out of Perth, Australia. My okay. driver's in, license. In the United States? It looks like the captain wasn't ever charged with false imprisonment or kidnapping, like the officer suggested, but he was charged with second-degree assault, second-degree operating a vessel with normal faculties impaired, and a couple boating citations. But when I looked up the court records, it appears that he was only charged with boating under the influence. And if you're still watching, show me some love. Hit that sub button. I don't know, get wild. Maybe like the video, leave me a weird comment that's gonna ruin my day.